I want to be on the cover of Forbes magazine. Smiling next to Oprah and, and the Queen. Queen. I can't sing. And Good morning, the Queen. everybody. But, but I will tell you, Bruno Mars, we're giving away tickets on Kiss 92.5 before you can buy them, Come and on. and his, his tickets for his big world tours go on sale Monday. Oh. So it, honestly, if you've never seen Bruno Mars live, phenomenal, unbelievable. You you don't even have to like you don't even have to know his music that well. He's like a James Brown, Michael Jackson, Prince mix. Like he's just amazing. First class, world class oh, entertainer. Absolute best concert you'll see. He's a powerhouse out here. Here's a topic we talk about quite often, yeah. and that is tipping. And whenever we talk oh. about tipping. You guys have so much to say, and we're talking about it again today because there's a new study out. Uh, it was actually from a, uh, a financial group, a Lenful Financial. They crunched the numbers, and they've said that tipping is, has now risen to the point where, where now that millennials, over the course of their life, will spend about $76,627, nearly two years' wages, on, on tips, tips alone. alone. No, Kevin, when you said this to Dina off screen, she yeah. was like, it's because they eat out so much. They're always <laughs> eating out. Nobody's at cooking at all. When I was their age, I was like, I don't know, maybe Taco Bell if I was feeling like, but this is, and then what did tonight. I say? What did I say to her? Don't don't get let off on the track on this one. She she takes these red herrings and throws them. You know why? Because but the more expensive the meal, the more no, what, the tip on top. No, but of the what meal. the study is saying, what the study is indicating, is the study is indicating we used to, it used to be tips were below 10 percent, and they were only given on good service. They were never given for takeout, never given for for uh, for pickup and that. It's now gotten to the point where 15, 20, and in some cases, I now see, I saw a machine the other day. You know how it says pick pre-pick your tip amounts. 25%. It starts at 25? No, no, no. I'm no, saying no, it, it gives you the choices. Oh. And now it's giving yeah, you the high end 25%. As, right, as, as that's a tip. common. It'll say 15, 20, 25. So it starts at 15 rather than so, 10%. There's two sides to this. Those who serve have to deal up with a lot of crap. They don't get paid very well at all. So tips are very important. But then companies, uh, restaurants, and that take advantage of this. Don't pay their employees well. This is all you'll make it up in tips. Don't worry about it. So what you're saying is the millennials now are feeling like they have to out tip their. No. Friends? Like they should no, 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 no. more? Like no, 20, what, 25%? What it means is what we are paying now, they're just using millennials as the example because now in this generation, but we too are paying this much in tips as well, no matter if you're a millennial, Generation X, no matter what. We're the standard it's in jump. general right now in this year, a tip is going to cost you, by the time all is said and done, by the end of your life, a uh, two-year salary. Wow. Millennial. Wow. What say you? Uh, you know what? It's one of those things that I, it's tough because like my fiance worked in the restaurant industry for a long, long time and she told me some of the stories that they used to deal with and the fact that they got paid less than minimum wage, right? I don't know how, re I, think, I think that's possible. I think restaurants can pay you less because of some sort they of. Anticipate. Yeah, I think there's some sort of deal there. Now, don't quote me on that, but um, she got paid, I think it was like five bucks an hour. So you can't rely on that. And if you are putting yourself through college, university, there's a lot of people that just, that's what they do. Um, and they rely on those tips. It's really hard to, to say, I'm not going to tip you. But at the same time, it's like, well, this is, you know, if you do get bad service, why do I feel guilty about not tip tipping someone, the, right? The, I remember going out to a restaurant as a kid, and the tip, the tip was always based on the kind of service you received, always. It was never a general, well, here's 15%. Mm -hmm. It was always a low tip if it was bad service, a high tip if it was really? good service. Yes. When's the last time you've actually left a low tip for bad service? No, not even, I'm just I saying don't. that's the way it used to be. And so that's why now it becomes, so why, it's just a ta what they're saying, it's now a tax. Because now you are giving 20%. Whether you get good service or not, you're giving 20%. So what is our tip to resolve this? Should we have? Should we have like a? We, I think we, would, we need to have like a set amount, a set percentage. A standard. Yes. Like and and you and, and that's the what, max percentage. But what encouragement there is then for for anyone to give you good service? <sighs> that's a good question. Maybe we should be paying all of these servers a better hourly wage. Yes. That's insane. Yeah, it's I think only so. Five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't feel the need to overcompensate for people who aren't giving them enough because there are a lot of cheap people out there who do not tip even when the service is great mm -hmm. and the food is fantastic. They're like, I'm going to round it down. <laughs> Some people that are terrible I customers. used to have those friends who would be like, well, I had a salad, okay, $8.99, here's 7 bucks. I'm like, what? Are you immune to the tip? Didn't you have a drink? Didn't you have some of that wine? Mm -hmm. It's there's a lot of cheap people there, out there. There's a lot of cheap people out there, but there's a lot of bad service out there too. I'm not saying all service is bad. There's a lot of bad service out there. Why should they make the same amount of money as some guy who's busting his hump to make sure you get good service? Speaking of humps, it's hump day, everybody. Oh, thank <laughs> goodness. Welcome to it.
It is 7.01. This is Breakfast Television. That'll be 20%, please.